Pop culture envisions a future characterized by an increasing degree of flesh and technology merging together. From Cronenberg's cult movies to Avatar, the question of the biological body has been deeply challenged. You're part of a small group of people in the world who has an RFID device implanted for non-medical reasons. How does it feel when technology becomes part of your body? Can you tell us about the physical, psychological and legal consequences for a human living in a techno-oriented bioframe? What we're particularly interested in is how, once people have a piece of technology implanted, um, how their concept of their body um, perhaps changes. Um, when we're looking at prosthetic devices, like robotic limbs or robotic hands, for example, um, we actually want the person to incorporate the technology into their concept of their body. We want them to use their um, prosthetic hand as if it was their normal, natural hand. We don't want them to think about having to use it in a different way. We want it to be a very natural experience. And in some cases, we find this phenomenon actually happens very readily. So we're interested in the idea that people's body boundaries are dynamic and you can start to incorporate technology into what you consider to be your body. Um, the device that I've had, I've had for um, about a year and a half now um, and it was uh, about 12 months I've been using it before we did the, the computer virus um, experiments um, and I, I use the device in a very seamless way it's not like in the morning where I need to go and find my keys or find my wallet um, or I've lost my mobile phone. It's there all the time. I don't need to think about it until I use it. And then even then I don't really think about it. It's much like you don't think about using your hands or your feet. You just don't consider it to be separate from you. And in that way, I consider it to be part of my body. So in that context, we can start to talk about a computer virus infecting a person if they consider the technology to be part of themselves. And that opens very interesting questions about legal ramifications, for example. You can't just go around um, hitting someone and abusing their body. And we believe that in the same way, you shouldn't be able to access a technology, an implanted technology, and misuse it. That should constitute an abuse to the person because the person considers it to be part of their body. So these are the, the broad um, aspects that we, we're considering with implantable technologies and there's an awful amount of discussion that, that really needs to happen because we're likely to see more and more applications of implantable technology.